The triumphal pastoral visit to Poland, eight months after his election, has probably given John Paul II the magnitude of the great love and expectations of his people. Such expectations have been fulfilled by the Pope with the gift of freedom. The Holy Father makes many pilgrim voyages worldwide, though his priority is mankind and its rights. And it is in order to defend those rights that, after his first speech at the United Nations in September 1979, the Pope made an address in Strasbourg to the Assembly of the European Parliament. The Church strongly believes that man has the right to freedom and security, necessary to lead his life according to the needs of his honest conscience, of his open attitude towards the absolute, and of his call for a brotherly life. Africa has been one of the most frequent destinations in John Paul II's travels. This young continent is afflicted by thousands of problems whose solution is dear to the Pope. In Africa, the desert moves forward quickly, and the drought makes it impossible to cultivate the land and to breed livestock. John Paul II thought about fighting even those plagues by creating the foundation of Sahel for the benefit of the northwestern regions of the continent. We should not wait for dryness to become frightful and devastating. We should not wait for death caused by the sun. We should not allow that the future of the African people keeps being under threat. Recognizing the errors of the past is one of Pope Wojtyla's main priorities, and everywhere he has gone, he has become the conscience of humankind. In Gore, a small island off Dakar in Senegal, where once the slaves were captured and brought to America, the voice of the Holy Father has expressed the feeling of regret of the whole world, addressing the Catholic community of the island. From this African sanctuary of black despair, we shall invoke the forgiveness of heaven. We pray so that in the future the disciples of Christ will prove themselves totally faithful to the commandment of brotherly love.